celebrating our eight year anniversary. I know we've been together for eight years. It's been a long time. Um, it doesn't feel that long though. I don't know why, but today we booked a little local getaway here in South Australia. We've got an Airbnb. It's kind of like glamping, but it's not. I'll show you guys. It'll make more sense when you see it. But yeah, eight year anniversary vlog. Let's go. They've bloomed. And look how big they are. So cute. I have another vlog which I haven't had time to edit but it's like a week in my life creating content for brands and one of the brands were Princess Polly and I got this top from them which is really really cool I also have the blazer that I thrifted in my recent thrift video I also have some black trackies and then these combat boots I love them but yes let's go I think I'm a bit late I told Arto I would be at now it's probably like 30 minutes ago so <laughs> If the blame is yours, you gon' be the one to pay for it Walkin' through some bands, I ain't even had to stay for it Don't bet against the underdog, I was paid for it It's a quick decision, you know pivot cause it's straight for it Mix the new and vintage, got me drippin' like a rainforest Got it for the low, but you gon' spend more than I gave for it We made it, this place is actually really cool It is a bit weird at the start because it is actually someone's backyard so you have to walk past their house they're so nice though they're super nice but you have to walk back they've got this massive backyard and then this is like the end of their backyard so it's really cool I'm gonna do a tour right now we've got the front this is the tent obviously it's called a yurt actually I think it's a Mongolian yurt I don't know if I've got that correct um, but yeah this is the front you walk in you've got to watch your head because you can hit it it's quite small and then you walk in and this is what it looks like it's got the bed couch it fits so much um, some side tables this actually opens up but because it's gonna rain tonight or like rain tomorrow morning they've covered it and normally you'll be able to see like the night sky when you're sleeping but that would have been really nice and then this is like the kitchen area they also gave us a boom so we can play music a sink coffee with coffee pods that door leads to the toilet which I'll show you in a minute we've got a heater or aircon um, a fridge a table we're gonna make some pizza here uh, and then these are the utensils and stuff what did they give us they gave us some cereal sugar oh there's a whole microwave all the utensils and then this is a little mirror this is a whole basket full of games there's uno rubik's cube some cards chess and jenga and then how do you you locked us in did you lock us in ah oh. and then we've got some seating area and that's the view of our city right there um, this is a little highway so cars just drive past here and then we've got a whole jacuzzi it's already warmed up which is really nice of them barbecue a little section over there and then we're going to use this little bonfire this is great this is actually really really cool I'm gonna show you guys where the toilet is so it's this little separate building it's got a cute pink mirror, but this is the toilet, it's so cute, there's a shower and everything. I want to show you guys the view from up here. The yurt's down there with the jacuzzi and there's a pool and everything. actually a really cool spot if you are in Adelaide and you want to check it out it's called glamping in or at Bel Air glamping in Bel Air if you are going out with just you and someone else two people it's the perfect spot they have binoculars and I can literally see the city so cool oh my god that's hurting my eyes your turn wait see if you can no you can't I thought it would be cold 
It's hot. You got the fire going already. You're on it. Fire. We're making pizza now. All right. Sorry, that was a bit hard. <laughs> We're making pizza now. Pizza now. We are making pizza now, but I want to show you Arta's um, portable wood fire pizza oven. Ow. This is Arta's portable wood fire pizza oven. People were asking where he got it. He got it from Kogan for like four hundred dollars, but we literally brought it to this Airbnb so we could have amazing wood fire pizza because the first time Arta made it, it was actually delicious. Like restaurant quality delicious it was so good um so yeah that's what we're doing today i think Atta's getting the fire ready Atta made everything from scratch this is what i mean by he's a chef he made this dough he prepped it for us um, from scratch he also made this tomato sauce it's literally made from tomatoes like he mashed it together and boiled it i don't know i don't know how he did it he made it all himself and this is his tester and then we're gonna make a couple more for the rest of the night. As is rolling out the dough. Yeah. Um, I took bought some Pinot Noir. I'm gonna pour some glasses because I think um, pizza goes with wine. It'll be fun to have some wine while we we're, we're making the pizzas. Too tall. One more pizza coming. We currently have three. That's so good. You did so well, Bubby. We're gonna watch the sunset. Mm. This one's fresh. And you stay to listen, hoping I find my vision, just hoping for some wisdom so I never get led astray. Cause everything worth the mention always got a price to pay. The sun is setting, it's getting a bit chilly. We're gonna sit here and watch the sunset, but we've got the jacuzzi ready. It says it's 37 degrees. I think that's the highest. Let me feel it. Oh, it's nice. It could be hotter. And then after, we've got the bonfire going. round we're gonna play another round but first we're gonna oh oopsies <laughs> um but first we're gonna burn some marshmallows okay we're doing round two but this time i'm trying to win and also this time we're sitting up because it's getting serious and i made some snacks i to one again I give up. I tried, I tried to checkmate him, but he's too good. It is 9.37 at the moment and we are pooped. We are so tired, so we're gonna just call it a night, go to bed. I think we're gonna finish off with a movie. I brought my laptop and there's Wi-Fi here, which is really cool. Also, thank goodness for the Udi. Even though it's not too cold, the Udis are keeping us so, so warm. But yeah, we're gonna call it a night and we are gonna wake up early. Good night, guys. This has been so nice. It feels like a home away from home because they've just made it so, so cozy. Goodbye, yurt. Love you. Goodbye, room. Goodbye, room. Such a good freaking, so fun. That's been such a good experience.
But it's only cause they should and they don't wanna be rude So please don't get it confused as I'm singing my blues Trying to heal up my wounds Trying to heal up my wounds, concealing feelings So these vultures they can never consume I've been honest so they never consume